welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire American Girl Josefina collection. And this is by popular demand. I don't have nearly as much stuff for Josefina as I do for the other historical characters. Um, but everybody wanted to see what I had, so I'm going to show that to you guys. And I'm going to start, I'm going to use the catalog as my guide. Now this is the 1997 holiday catalog, and that's when Josefina was new. So if you see here, it's got the introducing Josefina um, emblem there at the top. And I got her for my 15th birthday. My 15th birthday was in October of 1997. And here's a picture I took of her on my 15th birthday after I had opened her. And these are pictures from that party. So I thought that was kind of cool. And you can see her in the background of this photo where I had just gotten her. But anyway, so this is my Josefina doll that I got on my 15th birthday. And the thing about my Josefina, she was a new face mold at the time. This was the first time they had ever used this face mold on a doll. And mine has always had a downward cast. Like she's always looking down. Her head has never been straight up and she's taller than all of my other uh, American Girl dolls from that era. So I just think that's interesting um, to point out about her mold. Now here is her spread from the catalog with all of her original stuff. So of that, what do I have? I have obviously her full meat outfit. I even have, believe it or not, the flower still and the bow in her hair because I never took her hair down. So her hair has never been taken out of its original braid because at getting her at 15, at that point in time, I was more collector oriented than play oriented. So I kept her in the shape she was in. After the fact, I have gotten two of her accessories that came with her. One is her garnet necklace. Um, I love having the necklaces for the girls because the necklaces in the stories always have such a very big, um, they kind of have a, a lot of importance and a lot of meaning in the stories. And so I like that I've been able to collect all of those after the fact. The other thing I have is her little um, purse wallet. I don't have the content, so I do not have the coin or the handkerchief. And I also don't have her um, shawl that goes around her that came with the meat accessories because like I said, I got all these things in a lot after the fact. So that is all that I have um, whew, as far as that's concerned. So now let's move on. I'm just gonna kind of go in order of what I have. And I don't really have any complete sets from any of her stories but I'm gonna show you what I do have. So next up is her school story, which is here. So I do have her school outfit, which has the blue, the indigo skirt and the camisa, and then it has the red um, tie. What did they call those ties? Now here's the other thing about, it's just a sash. Here's the other thing about Josefina. I didn't spend years looking through the catalog and reading all the descriptions of her things like I did with Kirsten and Felicity and Molly, Samantha and Addie. So I don't remember as much about her just because she came along when I was a little bit older. So I'm going to refer to the catalog a good bit. So I do have the outfit and then I have part of her books and supplies. So what I have is I have her leather notebook, which is filled with, um, it's got a bunch of different things in it. So you can see there, um, and it's it's completely like full of different things. And this is in Spanish. And cause of course, Josefina was a Spanish speaker. And so there's a lot of cool stuff in there for her. And then I also have this, which is her ledger maybe, or a spelling, a speller. I'm not really sure actually. Let's open it up and look inside. Maybe that'll remind me as to what it is. Um, okay. Oh, this has got like, uh, this is her ledger. So it's got, you can see it's got the math stuff in there. So this is pretty cool because what, I, what happened here um, is I actually found You'll never believe this. I found her desk, her writing desk, which is really beautiful at a Goodwill. Um, and these were inside the drawer. So that's how I ended up with those. I did end up selling her writing desk at one point because it's a big, bigger item and it commands a lot of money on the secondary market. So it was one of those things where, you know, with, with doll collecting, 
it's necessary to make space sometimes because space is finite. I don't have enough space for everything. It also helps if you want to buy something else to sell things and so that's that's kind of what happened to the writing desk but it's a really gorgeous desk but I kept these pieces because they're smaller and I'm able to fit them in a drawer and just store them that way. So that's all I have from her school collection is just this. Next up is her Christmas story. So I do have the complete outfit for the Christmas story. It's got the mantilla which goes in her hair and it's like a veil that goes. I'll show you guys. You kind of put the comb in the hair and then the veil um, comes down on either side. And it's got her, um, her dress here and then it's got these pantalettes underneath. So it's just like a full pantalette set there. And then her doll Nina, which I love having their dolls too because obviously I love dolls very much and the dolls are an important part of the story. And so it's really cool for me to actually get the doll for the dolls because I understand how important a doll can be to a young child. I also have the, what is this, the lantern, I believe, from the Christmas Eve set. So this is the wooden lantern. I got this in a trade at some point. I was really, really trying my best to collect all of her pieces. And I somehow got this one, but the Christmas Eve set was very very hard to get and so I was trying to get it piece by piece and this is the only piece that I really ended up with so that was the end of that all right that is this is the next page in my catalog so I didn't have her birthday story the summer story or the changes for the winter story in my catalog so I'm going to show you guys what I have here and then I'm gonna get into the other things you see sitting on the table that I've collected after the fact. So I've got her bed, I, and I do have the bed roll, and I had it in my hands about a week ago, and I set it to the side because I knew I was gonna be doing a Josefina video, and I have no idea where I put it. I have it, so I have the complete bed set. So I've got the blanket, the mattress, the bed. I've got the night table here. I don't know what happened to that bedroll. It's somewhere. I've also got the carpet underneath, so that's there. And I've got her nightgown. So I have all of that from her um, treasures and collection section in the catalog. I don't have, obviously, her, what is it called, her nighttime necessities. I don't have that piece, um, but I do have the, I do have the, the bedside table, the nightstand. All right, so what other pieces do I have? If we go down in front of the bed here, I have some pieces from her birthday story. So I've got the vase with flowers and all, most of the flowers are missing, but there's some there. The pitcher, I do have both of the green glasses and I do have both of the forks, but they are, I, again, misplaced somewhere. And that basket that's sitting out in front, I believe that's part of her Cosina supplies, which again, I got random Josefina lots at one time. And so none of it's really complete. And that's what I have there. Now, from the American Girl Company and Not Pleasant Company, I have several items. So if you go down in front, I bought her shoes and socks um, as an adult collector. And I also bought her riding boots as an adult collector. So these are all purchased sometime in the late 2000s. I also have her heirloom items, which are here. It's got the fan and the choker and this shawl. It's tagged Pleasant Company, but from what I understand, this is actually an American Girl piece, like a Mattel piece. I don't know for a fact that that's true, but from what I understand, this came out around 2007. So I'm not sure if this is a Pleasant Company piece or a Mattel piece. It's tagged Pleasant Company, but I think I have this feeling in my mind that this is a Mattel piece. And then lastly, I have her weaving um, set. So I've got some of the yarn from her weaving set, and then I've got all the different uh, pieces that go with that. This is an item I've actually tried to sell multiple times because it's so big and there's like no good way to display this but for whatever reason it's just nobody's really interested in it and I hate to just toss it to Goodwill because I know what it is and I know it's like a cool piece to the collection so I've just hung on to it all these years um so that's that so this is my entire Josefina collection I did used to have more outfits for her 
but I ended up selling them because at one point I decided for Josefina, I'm just going to collect the original um, three stories because that's what came in the original catalog when I was a kid because I had decided at one point I'm just going to collect the classic things from my childhood. But you can see I ended up with some other stuff that's really not from that original debut collection. So, and I had a hard time parting with some of it. So I do have um, some things and I'll never say never. I may end up getting a lot more of her stuff. Her stuff has been a lot harder for me to dig up. I know a lot of people had asked me to do this video earlier, but because I don't have her trunk, her stuff was kind of scattered all over. So I had some of it in my big AG um, wardrobe. I had some of it in various drawers around my house. So it took me a while to <laughs> find it all and put it together. And I'm, I'm still missing a couple of little pieces, like I said, but um, this is for the most part, this is what I have. And I really love it. I love her character. Um, I did read her books uh, back when I was 15. It's It's been a while since I've, I actually haven't reread any of the books as an adult. I probably should do that because they're very fast reads. I'll have to read through them again just to give myself a reminder about why I love these characters so much. But she's one of the characters I really love. And I really love when she came out. She had this dark cinnamon skin tone and she had the beautiful um, new face mold that I'm pretty sure everybody still to this day calls this the Josefina face mold because she's the first doll that had it. So I really love that. And, um, I really like the vinyl on her because it felt a little different. I even remember when I got her, she felt heavier and different than my other girls. So her vinyl's not quite as squishy. And I know the vinyl changed over the years from being squishy up to the point now where it's like really hard. This is somewhere in between that. So she, she has a really nice feel to her and um, I've really taken care of her over the years. You see some of her hairs are stray out to the side. I need to wipe, um, pull those back, but otherwise she's in really great shape. So I, I, it was a very fond memory getting her for my 15th birthday. So she's the last one I got in my childhood. She's, she's my last childhood American Girl doll. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video.